Okay, I'm back very, very shortly. This is my, remember I had my revolution, I had when I was talking about something else. Um, very shortly. This is, this is going to sound strange, you know, this, this is, you know, uh, we're here um, at, at a desk of the ADOS, and she so said, well, we should talk about things of, you know, that pertain to uh, um, Africans, uh, descendants of chattel slavery. Okay, but I have something else. That, uh, something else is happening. This one. Well, I come, I'm going to try to relate it. There's a film that came out, A Star Is Born. Okay. Now I, I'm a film fanatic. I didn't see, well, I didn't see all the nominated films. But me and my wife were in Cape Town um, over the over the the break. Over when I say break, you know, January. Uh, she had to do, she had to do something with her son and stuff like that. Anyway, so we was there. Uh, there's a film, there's a theater, old theater, old time theater called the Labia Theater. They're very famous. I love that theater. I don't care what's playing. I would just go to, to Labia just to, just to, excuse me, just to support them. You know. Um, anyway, so they were playing A Star Is Born, also Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Roma, a bunch of other things that were on the on the list for the Academy Awards. Uh, so I, I wanted to. Well, since I was going to see about how, which one I'm going to see, I want to see this other stuff. So let me see uh, A Star is Born, because guess what? And Dave Chappelle, and I'm going like, hey, I want to see what Dave is doing. Okay. So I see the movie. It's really good. Yeah, I love Dave's performance. Even the Anthony Anderson, you know, a couple of people, you know, it's one scene. I really, really, really liked it. <clears throat> but then I was realizing this is a good movie. I liked this. There was something about the movie that I really liked. So a feeling like that. And then the Academy Award happens, and then you see this thing with, with, with Bradley Cooper and um, the director of the film, and Lady Gaga. They do this song, this song, um, whatever that song is, Shallows. And it's an amazing performance. It really is. I mean, on that Academy Award show, I don't see the show, but you see the clips. You would think, somebody like Jennifer Hudson, right? She was do, doing the song from whatever movie she was doing, of the Ruth Bader Ginsburg movie. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen any of the movies. In fact, that, even in Lobby, they would put Bohemian. I wanted to go the next day to see that, but you know, my wife got sick a little bit, and so we just couldn't go. I think it was our last day there anyway. Um, so, but the thing is, even Jennifer Hudson, as powerful as she is, wasn't as powerful as uh, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. And, and so it was fascinating. Even if you watch it over and over again, it's, it, it hits something in you. It did, because music does that. Hip hop, no, whatever. It's, it's a, I think music, like everything, is a vibration. And if you vibrate right, it hits to your core. And then that's why gospel music is so powerful. It hits to your core. And you, you're like in sync. It's, it's right. It does does something to me. One time I, when I was at talk about Livingston College, they had a, lived, a, a gospel concert at Livingston College. And my son was there. He was very young, young at the time. And so we're sitting there watching them. And something, it was like, it was very embarrassing. There was sort of like a low, and he goes, my son goes, ah, real loud. Oh gosh, man, right? Doesn't fall far from the tree. I had to take that boy out of there. You know what I mean? Say, come on, let's get out of here. Like that. I'm sorry, I stray. But but there's something about music. That's what it is about music. Whether it's just instrumental, or whatever. If it hits you, it hits you. So I said, wow, this Bradley Cooper is really. Brad, you know, you know what I'm about? Go back here. Got here. Some. He pays. I'm not gonna. Oh, here it is. Bradley Cooper, you know, remember, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, see this guy here, the, the little raccoon, that's Bradley Cooper's voice, okay, that's pressure, okay, fine, anyway, so you, said, you know what kind of director is, but then, there's a, then I got really curious, so there was one um, thing that he went on, uh, one of those morning shows, Good Morning, whoever, and uh, he was there with Sam Elliott, and he was talking about the movie, and then Sam said something very interesting, because this is true. He did it because he had, Bradley Cooper had the entire um, set trusting him. They trusted him. And this is what I'm, this is how I'm, I'm linking this to the ADS movement. Yvette Cornell, Antonio Moore, was responsible for this, you know, for this liberation movement. They trust each other. We have to trust them. It is a matter of trust. This movement, 
uh, in fact, but I say ADOS is bulletproof anyway. But what would make it more effective, you have to trust. You can't be going off on your own thing. Well, I sort of go off on my own thing. But you have to really study what they're talking about. Pay attention to them. Vivek Cornell broadcasts twice a week and Tony Moore once a week. You have to lock into that. Forget all these naysayers they're giving you false and whatever they're giving you, you know. And trust. Trust that we are doing the right thing. Trust that this movement is going to, is shaking the world. It's what I call, I have this thing called the jump theory. And what is this? If everybody, if, say if all people are into liberation, uh, it's, it's like the Maasai warriors of, of, of Kenya. And you know how they jump up and down. You've seen, you've all seen it. They jump up and down, they get made up in the face. And, and it's really to, trying to get women. I won't get into that. You look, research for yourself. But remember, if you jump, and they all jump in the sand. So if everybody around, all you Pan-Africanists, as we do, all you whatever, whatever, you know, uh, all this, if we continue for an entire year, I'm t let's do, let's do from now until, I don't know, election season. And so from, from now, let's start, the, I know, let's start the, the, the jump theory when people really, because uh, the conference is taking place in October. So let's give it, we we'll propose in October, and let's say from the beginning of the year, or maybe from October, all the way to election time, to November of that next year, you know, we stay on it. We stay on it. You know, you, you get some principles, like, you know, I like to say, you know, nearly full of juniors a code. You get these principles. Because remember, if everybody's jumping up, when you hit, you're going to shake the world. You shake the world. If everybody, if every African that believes in freedom, you know, jumps, you know, will do your thing, you stay on your thing, you don't snipe anybody else, you don't call anybody else's name, you just stay on your thing. You shake the world. I'm talking about months and months, everybody stays on it, stays on it. And remember, also when you're jumping and you're hitting, those people that try to come at you, you're moving target. You're bulletproof. So, so what I'm, so I'm saying, and you can get your inspiration from anything. I didn't get the jump theory from, from A Star Is Born, but it's, it, I got this thing about trust. That's what it is. And it's a little, remember, film set, is a, he had the whole, the whole cast, crew. It's a small grouping. So if you get in your grouping and, you, and people trust you in your group, you don't have any infiltrators like they used to do with COINTELPRO. Mm -hmm. You know, you weed out your infiltrators. You know, you put up a poster. That's what you do. You go post it someplace. And we all trust. And you have your, uh, for me, right now, the space I'm in, I'm, 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 I'm running. I'm run I got the back of Yvette Cornell and Antonio Moore and Neely Fuller Jr. And I put them both together. So my code, in my code is my code that gives me the discipline to continue with, uh, to, to, to function in the, in the uh, uh, ADOS movement. Or the, I call it the ADOS reality. So we can take this movement and make it a reality. Maybe that's what I'm saying. So I, I say the age is reality because I'm living in the future. So you, I'm talking to you right now. You think you're looking at me, don't you? I know you think you're looking at me. You're not. You know that, you know that thing with the, the road runner? Zing! You're actually looking at that after image over here. I'm actually here. I'm, go, I'm here. Right, I'm here. But you're looking at me here. You're looking at my after image. And that's why AJOS is bulletproof. It's already, it's ordained. It's already someplace yeah. else. You just need to get in that stream and try to catch up to it. Try to catch up to it. You won't be able to do it, but try. That's a, I just had to throw a little bit of thing in there, a little off kilter for you. Anyways, this is a, um, a message, a theory, the jump theory. For me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, speaking from a desk, of the ADOS reality, letting you know what I only suspect. Hey, Miss Scully, could you turn that off for me, please?